Hey, this is Mickey at Bar W. Day Lily Farm. I just wanted to show you my dried apples. These are the ones I was telling you about that they're deer apples. This is what they look like after I get them cut. And this is what they look like when they get dried. So, mmm. These are a little bit chewy. That's fine with me. Sometimes I keep them on there until they're about like a chip. But this time I can't wait that long. We're going to put these in a gallon bag. This is a good snack for your youngins. Uh, something that y'all can do together. You can give, give them a gallon uh, plastic bag and tell them how it is. Fill her up. And, uh, and then you can have them fill them up. And then they can sort of watch them as they dry out in your dehydrator. Uh, the one we got, we've had it for years. You can get them at, at uh, I think at Walmart, Tractor Supply. I think I've seen them at Rule King. Any place like that should have them. You can look them online and get them. But this is something that you can do. And and if you're trying to get your youngest to eat right, guess what? Mm. This is a snack that you can give them. They say, there you go. But just don't eat too many of them. Give you a belly ache. And, uh, my grandsons, Luke and James, sees them. They'll be wanting them a bag of this. But you gotta watch them. They eat too many of them. You don't want to eat over a, a handful at a time. Oh, plus two. Kim cooked a bunch of them the other day. Ooh, me. I had a big old bowl of that this morning with a liver mush and egg on toast Ooh -wee. you know something about made my tongue slap my brains out this morning but I enjoyed eating that I enjoyed these apples and I'll tell you what they are good and this is a way to pre preserve them too I might be able to get two two trays of this, in this one. These are all golden right here. I've got some that I've done out of a uh, hollow log. That's an old, old variety. My grandpa helped me get a long time ago. He told me, he said, now this is hollow log. You need to put this where you can keep it. And I have. I need to get some started. Uh, Should have done done it, but have it. There, it's old. It's old variety. And uh, it just it's an early apple. Mm. There's some up. I'll end up putting another, probably another tray in there. All right, now to load it up. You just do it like it is right here. Load her up, fill her up. I remember the first dried apples I ever seen. I worked at Lowe's Food. And uh boss man told me, said, Hire Mickey, try you one of them. Man, I love them. He had to tell me, he said, Mickey, you gonna have to buy you some of them if you're gonna go to eating. But I tell you, then uh we took in uh 
when I was a boy, we got us a dehydrator. Started doing a few. And uh, now I remember my grandma well. She would do some. And uh, it was after my, my grandpa had passed away. But she liked them too. So what she would do, she'd take and get her a piece of screen, old screened in, screen that went on your windows. And uh, she'd get one of them. And it's going to be hot that day. She'd make sure she'd get that thing nice and full. And then she'd take and she'd put that thing in her car. It'd get hot. It wouldn't take long to, to dry out. And, uh, which was nice because she didn't have to use no power. She just used the sun. And then I've heard people a long time ago making a dehydrator out of an old van or something where it gets so hot. They take that thing and put racks in it and let the, let the heat of the van do it. But, you know, I'd rather do them this way. Now, I wouldn't mind doing a few the other way like my grandma would done. But to make a dehydrator out of an old van, nah. Whoops. Don't want to drop these things. They're too good. I got these here cut pretty, pretty thin. I tried to. I like them just about like a chip. This one here's got five trays. Uh, I have done jerky. and done no jerky in a long time. There's a, about got one, about got another tray filled up. Then I'll show you me a, putting it on the thing and cranking her up. Boy, it's a rainy day today. I wonder if y'all are getting any rain. If you're here in Burke County, you're getting a little bit. Not a whole lot, just enough to, to where you can't get out and do nothing. Make a beautiful day though to do some deer hunting. So, uh, let's see here. There's my other one done. I'll set that tray right there. I want to be aggravating trying to get it up. There it went. I'm gonna cut some up for Kim. She's gonna make some apple butter. She makes it out in a crock pot. So it, it does really good. And then I, then she cans it. I don't know what all the the thing is on that, but if you decide you wanna know, you know our uh, our website. It's www.daylilyfarm.net Taking Email Kim and, and uh, Ask her to give it to you Because I tell you it's really good I like it on hot biscuits I got to admit, my wife makes some good homemade biscuits. Gravy. Ooh, man. I enjoy them. Biscuits and gravy. My boys come home. Sometimes it don't even have to be breakfast. Sometimes it's supper time. Mama, how about fixing us some biscuits and gravy? And she's got to fix a 
I mean a big old pan of biscuits. Cause them boys don't eat just one or two like me. They'll eat six or eight sometimes. Then they got the grandsons liking it. Mmm. You can ask them sometimes, all right boys, what do you want to eat? Nana? I'd like to tell me some, you want some I'd like to tell me some biscuits and gravy. Okay. You know how it is. Them grandsons want something. Usually Nana's gonna get it for them. But I guess that's with all grandparents. They like taking care of them and boys. Good, that there. Getting ready to start on the fourth one. And I wanted to show you a little bit of this. I mean, the biggest time, the, the most time you got on it is loading it up and, and uh, what is it? Uh, peeling apples, mainly peeling apples. And, uh, but it, it's something that you can do with youngins, uh, loading it up, letting them watch you, and uh, uh, something they can enjoy. And have something good to eat. About to take this whole pot of apples and put in here. I'll have to cut some more for a, a uh, where we can do some uh, apple butter. Because I like apple butter out of, out of the golden. I like it out of the hollow log. And I also like it out of the Rones. Oh yeah, that's gonna turn out pretty good. Oh yeah. Thank you, Lord. Let me see here. Yeah, that's right. Lay this up here. There's a seed. I need to get off of there. We about got this thing full. About ready to start it again. Now don't forget, if you live, live up close to Asheville or go up that way to, to visit here the next week or so, you need to stop in there at Western North Carolina farmer's market uh, that's where I got these apples and uh, I go every year hey sometimes when I come home I got six or eight bags because I'm feeding the deer this year haven't really haven't really got a place to hunt so I'm not for sure if I'm gonna get to hunt or not this year I've got a couple of fellers I'm going to check with. They might let me hunt, might not. And if they don't, that's fine. i got enough work around here to keep me busy two or three years. Keep me busy, keep me out of trouble. When a person says he's retired and he ain't got nothing to do, man, come and see me. I'll give you plenty to do. Oh yeah. We just about got this done. Getting it ready. Used up all that pot. I'll have to do some more for apple butter. Ooh, I like my apple butter. I 
So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and your uh, uh, notification bell. So when we do all these stuff, you can see this. Now, now uh, I know you don't want to let a young and have a knife to cut apples. I understand that. That's something that they can sort of watch. Now let me pause this here. So I was going to let you see, this is where we do ours. And uh, there you go, you see it right there. And uh, they'll, I used to do them for about 24 hours or a little bit longer. Uh, you just have to test them the way you want them. But doing what you want. And then you will uh, take them out. Eat them, just don't eat too many because you get a belly ache. Now, it's time to go. I'm going to take a closing prayer. And uh, if you got any needs, let's lift them up in prayer right now. Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for your many blessings. Lord, if there's any sin in our lives, Lord, we ask that you forgive us. Help us, Lord, to put you first in every way. Lead us and direct us. And Lord, if any, any of them's got needs out there, Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you'd meet them if it's salvation, or if it's healing, or if it's financial, Lord. And Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you would just take and touch them, draw them closer to you, Lord. And Lord, we just ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to let you go now. This is Mickey. And I just wanted to show you a little bit on how my dryer does. And uh, uh, you can, it's, I don't know how much they are now, so you just have to look and see where you can find one. And I hope you enjoy it. And uh, this is something else that you can do. Now, my son, I think he done his in his oven. So I ain't for sure about that. So if you start doing them in the oven, you might want to get on YouTube and see how people are doing them on that part but this is the way i do them and i hope you enjoy it and y'all have a wonderful day bye